Hi, welcome to this short tutorial video about how to test, verify and publish a quest in Questback Essentials. To end up with a solid response rate and valid feedback data, your quest should be of good quality and not contain errors or inconsistencies. Questback Essentials support your work for high quality feedback initiatives with a wide range of elements built in and available directly in the service. The preview mode we recommend that you keep the preview of your quest open in a separate browser window at all time when designing and setting up a quest. Simply refresh the page after a change in the designer and you get the latest status of your work displayed. As we have learned in the separate tutorial about themes and logos, the preview allows you to change theme settings directly in the preview window and to test how the quest would look on various devices. Please note that the questions are only numbered in the preview for your as a reference in your design process. And the routing settings are displayed with the informative text boxes. Validate quest. When clicking on that option, the system runs a technical validation of your quest and provides feedback on missing or wrongful settings as warnings or errors. Fixing warnings is optional, while errors need to be fixed before the system allows you to publish the quest. The validation provides you all relevant details on where in the workflow to correct your settings. Test quest. Once your design process is finished, we recommend you turn to the run the quest a couple of times in the test mode, test quest. There, the quest looks exactly like it will look for the respondents, with the question not numbered and all routing settings applied. Test quest also allows you to generate manual test responses to check how the quest would look from a reporting point of view. Generate test data. By clicking on that button, the system generates 50 test responses for you to review and check how the quest would look from a reporting point of view. Any settings that you apply to a report when working with test data will remain there once the quest is published and real responses come in. In other words, you can already prepare some reporting with filters and live reports before you publish the quest so that everything is ready at once when you publish. Please note, any test data generated by the system or manually via test quest will automatically be removed when you publish a quest. Once you have successfully worked with the preview, test quest, test responses and the technical validation and you are satisfied with the result of your work, you can safely publish the quest. This concludes this short tutorial about how to test, verify and publish a quest in Questback Essentials.